this week's cover story, the 2021 U.S. Open Pickleball Championships returned after a year off due to COVID, bigger and better than ever at the pickleball capital of the world, East Naples Tennis Center, spanning 60 courts and the amazing covered championship court. Over 2,000 players from ages 9 to 90 battled the heat and the competition from amateurs to the top men and women professionals. The wheelchair divisions and a new 50 plus gender format teaming up with the under 50 partner. Inside World Pickleball, we are at the U.S. Open in beautiful Naples, Florida with Chris and Terry, the founders of this great event in its fifth year after missing a year for COVID, but we are back in action and bigger and better than ever. So welcome ladies, you do an awesome job here. Thank you, it's great to be back. And how have you seen this grow since your very first one when you guys came up with the idea, you put this thing together, did you realize where it was gonna go within the first five years? We had no idea it was gonna be this big. So what we've created now is the biggest pickleball party in the world. So we say all the time, we have this huge pickleball party and a little pickleball action breaks out. <laughs> so really the people come down here, so many of them come down here just for the party, for the atmosphere, for the music, for Naples beaches, for the restaurants. It really is a great place to be for a week. Chris and Terry here, a great place to be for a week, and it is expanded to a week, too. You've got 60 courts. Uh, I don't know how many different players this year. You're set, setting record numbers of players and spectators, and you've added new divisions like the, the wheelchair divisions, the mixed age group divisions. So those innovations, I think, are really helping grow the sport. Yeah, we, Terry and I have always liked to think outside the box, to kind of do things a little differently. So the pro split age is the one you're talking about, where it was one player under 50, one player over 50, and it just turned out to be a hot event this week. It was great. Now you had a chance to play with your dad in the mix. Uh, that, that's a whole new division. Everybody seems to be raving about that. How do you enjoy playing with your dad in the tournament? Yeah, my dad and I used to play together all the time. Um, he doesn't play quite as much anymore, so it was pretty cool to get out there for the split age event because he's still a, he's a very good senior level player, and we were the only father-son team out there, so number one in the father-son division. Uh, we'll take that gold medal. <laughs> right, so we got father-son. Maybe you'll play uh, Lee and Annalie Waters and a mother-daughter. That'd be a great competition, huh? There we go. There's an idea. I don't like our odds in that one, though. <laughs> How can you grow it? Is there, any, is there any room for growth to get more players involved? Yeah, well, you know, this year, because of COVID and travel restrictions, we're, we're ending up with a little over 2,000 athletes. We think we have a capacity for 25, 2,600. So we'll, we have to, we've had to move to a lottery system that we'll do, or we'll let people know about later this year, and that's how players get in. I'm Melissa McCurley here with CBS Sports Network and we are back here in beautiful Naples, Florida at the East Naples Community Park, home of the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships. And there's been so many new things that have happened in the park since we were here two years ago prior to COVID. The infrastructure has been upgraded. There's hydration stations here at the park. The, the Naples Botanical Gardens came in and just beautified the place with beautiful plants. And we have a new fan zone that's here as well. Lots of new vendors and food. And we also have a lot of new technology as well. There's charging stations available to keep that technology coming to players from text messaging to player check-ins to QR codes and to being able to, for fans and spectators and players, being able to keep up with their play on one page, all from their cell phone. The US Open's great, best sales ever. We've been here every year and we're basically doubling, mostly because of you know, everyone's coming over. And this even, it's, this is the debut for our new uh, pursuit. And there's already chatter all over Facebook for it. We can't, waiting, where can we get them? So we're launching them here. They're not gonna be available for about another month online. Uh, so for us, this has been the best year yet. Rob, talk about these new paddles because Engage, we see them everywhere, yep. all the different colors, but you've got some exciting new things about that we technology. Do. We do. This new paddle here, the pursuit, it's pretty much, it's all proprietary. We have our latest black core, which we invented. So it's the softest core in the market. And then this is a brand new graphite skin that we just came out with too, which is the softest skin, but also it's the roughest legal skin out there and more importantly, more friction. So you combine both of those and you pretty much get the magic sauce. Still to come, next gen Leo Chen signs a Franklin endorsement at age nine. <laughs> 